se le olvide la bomba para inflar. Truly words of wisdom. Welcome friends. Thank you for joining me today. It's TSG here. You're at the TSG channel and I'm grateful you guys stopped by. If you're a subscriber, thumbs up to you. You guys are awesome. If you're Patreon patrons, thank you so much for your direct support. I do appreciate that a lot. Uh, if you're just stopping by today, thank you. You could have gone anywhere. You stopped by here. I do appreciate it. You probably stopped by because you saw the title. It had something to do with flex tape. A few months ago, we did a video um, regarding flex tape and uh, how we were able to fix an air mattress with it. And we had so many questions uh, about, and so many inquiries about all the different scenarios that you guys have been coming across that we decided to pick the top two and uh, kind of recreate them here on camera to see if uh, the solutions we thought of would actually work. One of them was what happens if it has kind of a fuzzy finish on it and uh, on the air mattress. And the other one is, what happens if I have a big old hole on it? What do I do with that? We're gonna experiment today. I went out and got myself uh, from Intex, right straight from Walmart, folks. Oh, by the way, Flex Tape, Intex, none of these people are paying us to do any of this. Um, we're doing this, we're taking one for the team, as it were, um, because we wanted to test some things out to make sure that um, you were able to make a better informed decision of whether or not you wanted to pick up something like this or flex tape or whatnot. Flex tape is a pretty good uh, uh, product, but there was something rather unique. And so we, uh, uh, with regards to air mattresses that you guys all came up with. So we found one that had kind of a fuzzy finish and uh, we're gonna simulate, we're gonna put a hole in it and then patch it. And then we're gonna make even a bigger hole in it like some of you suggested and try patching it with flex tape, and I've got an idea of how we're gonna do that. But until we do that, let's uh, crack this baby open and pump it up with it. There you go, let's get this thing opened up. Now let's see, it does say on here, must be returned and sealed uh, and unopened for with a 90 day thing. So, well, we're gonna break the seal, which means we can try take it back, <laughs> but uh, only for an exchange. They won't give us any money back. That's okay. Uh, if you're interested, I'll put a link down below to where maybe you can uh, get one of these after you've seen this. It uh, might be of some use to you. Wow, look at this. Uh, relax, it's not leaking. It's not? It, it's in Spanish. Oh, and it's in French. Uh, when you first inflate your airbed, the material will... Oh, stretch. I see. Okay, so once you get this thing inflated, it's gonna deflate a little bit because it's stretching out. Oh, some patch material, which we know doesn't work <laughs> as our previous one. I'll put a link down below to the previous video and you could see that the patches that we used on the things that, that uh, it was packed with just didn't work. And we went to flex tape and it seemed to work really well. And it's still working to this day. It's been a number of months and it still um, holds air quite well. Now this does have that little bit of fuzziness. Some of you guys were asking about what happens if it has a funny finish, what do I do? Um, well, I think we have to scrape off some of that fuzzy finish. But before we do that, we're gonna get the box out of the way. Do that, open this up. Right on the box it says, uh, don't forget the pump. Well, we, we have a pump right here. Uh, inflate your airbed to several hours to allow the material to stretch naturally. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pump this thing up off camera and then when it's been pumped up and a few hours have gone by, because I don't wanna bore you guys, um, we'll come back and uh, um, then we'll continue with our experiment. But until then, uh, watch this. our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. Well, it's all pumped up. Um, as it turns out, that uh, foot pump that we showed you was just no match for this thing. Uh, the size of the air pump hose and the inlet where uh, you would put that hose on there just did not match quite right. So what we ended up doing is we went outside and uh, took our air compressor and put it onto that nozzle, which fit fairly snugly so that we were able to get a nice tight seal and uh, very carefully filled it um, with air. It's been a couple of hours and it's still uh, holding quite a bit of air. 
I don't think I want to put much more in there. Uh, it's stretched just a little bit, but when you lay on it, here, let me demonstrate. Uh, see? Uh, you know what? This is actually kind of nice. Uh, All right, are you ready? All right. So what we got to do now is simulate. Boy, I hate doing this. I really, really do. Um, I'm going to take my knife. And uh, right here, I'm going to simulate. I'm going to poke it with my knife. And hopefully it doesn't explode. But this will be exciting for camera, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah, there you go. It's leaking. And that's about, uh, oh, about three quarter inch hole. We're going to get some of that flex tape uh, while it's letting out some air. Whew. Now, we, uh, we can see that there's a hole there. I've marked it with a silver sharpie so it would be easy to see on this blue fabric. And I'm just going to take some scissors and you can see it's got a definite hole. I'm going to take about that much uh, flex tape. And I'm going to open this hole up just a little bit more just to show that uh, the size of this thing, uh, how big it can be. Hopefully I didn't cut through. Oh, there's a, there's a baffle in there. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll, uh, it's this baffle right here is um, coming this direction. So, and I didn't pierce it. At least I don't think I did. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking some of this flex tape and stick it up underneath and hopefully get it underneath there and then try to peel it off. Ooh, that, that's going to be a challenge, isn't it? What I may want to do is uh, make a little door. Shall we try that? There you go. Made a little door. Oh, look, little baffle in there. So I made a little door and I'm going to take some of this flex tape making sure that it's, well, I'm gonna cut half of that flex tape, just like that. And uh, this should fit inside of there. Does this seem like a lot of trouble for a little air mattress? Well, you know, if it's the only little air mattress you have, uh, it may be well worth the effort. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to take and peel back my flex tape while it's inside. I may need to open that up a little bit more. I'm going to put it down there. I'm going to pull that all off. I'm going to shove it in. Ooh, I got my finger stuck on there pretty good. Shove it down in there. Just like that. I'll uh, push down on that part, push down on that part, I'll peel that off, take that back, looks like I need to fold that, there you go, just like that, and I'm going to take and seal it off from underneath, okay, and it doesn't appear that there's uh, the patch is quite a bit bigger than the slit that I put in there. It does take a little bit of uh, patience, guys. You know, I'm not saying it's all going to be done all at one time. And then now I can put a piece of flex tape over all of that, and it should take care of what I'm a little concerned with is this right here. that that oh that is sealed okay well we'll take a patch about that big and we're going to put it over like that and give it a whirl there we go peel that up. i'm not going to take the fuzzy stuff off let's try it this way because i i'm i'm pretty convinced that with uh with tape underneath and I'm going to make sure it's nice and flat and put that on top, just like that. And then flex tape on top. It's going to hold. Now, if it doesn't, 
we'll have a little more work to do. All right. Let's give it a few minutes to sit there. And uh, with flex tape, it does take a few moments for that glue to kind of cure. And uh, we'll be right back. We got the air compressor. It's plugged in. There's the hose. Now, I don't recommend doing this with the uh, air compressor unless you know exactly what you're doing. I am a professional. Don't do this at home, folks. You may blow yourself up. Okay, this thing fits in there pretty snug, just like that. So let's uh, just watch this thing inflate. Put headphones on, please. Protect your hearing. <laughs> Now through the magic of time-lapse, huh, it took about three minutes, but only just a few seconds for you. It seems to be holding well. I don't see any channels where that would be uh, coming through. I guess the uh, only thing we can do is come back in about, oh, I don't know, 24 hours and see if uh, this is pulled away or anything is uh, leaking out of there, any air is leaking. Now the theory is there's a patch on the inside of that hole and the pressure from inside is pushing up on that uh, patch. So it's pushing it against the underside of the vinyl uh, and the vinyl on the inside didn't have any of this fuzzy stuff. And then by putting the patch over the top, you now have two, two uh, patches on there, one protecting the top, one being pushed up from inside and uh, both of them obviously have adhesive and uh, it should hold up pretty good. So that's gonna be my solution. Let's give it several hours and see what happens. We'll be right back. Hey friends, we just connected with Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Why would you wanna shop at those other two places? You know where we're talking about. When you can shop in the convenience of your own home online Ooh, at Sportsman's Warehouse. That's what just use our link down below. It doesn't cost you a penny more and you'll be helping out the TSG channel when you shop at the Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. It has not leaked any air. It uh, still is very firm. There is no leak there. When I stick my ear next to it, I don't hear any hissing or any of that. Uh, it's still very firm. I think that's the solution, folks. Uh, I may have suggested before that if you have some fuzziness on your, on your air mattress to maybe scrape some of that off and try to reveal uh, just vinyl underneath. No need. Um, you know how the old adage goes? Sometimes things have to get worse before they get better. So what I did was, as you saw, I just opened up the hole quite a bit more and added a patch on the inside as well as the outside. And that was the fix. Now, is it worth doing that with your air mattress? Well, I guess it all depends on how much you spent on your air mattress. This one I didn't spend very much, um, but uh, if you have a queen size mattress that you use for guests and whatnot, and, or maybe you travel with it, uh, and it costs you a bit, you know, a patch this size, well, a roll of flex tape is roughly $14. This patch probably cost, oh, pennies. You know, just cents, not very much at all. And there's two, there's one on the inside, one on the outside. Um, and so that may be very worth it to uh, save your $100 uh, air mattress, let's say. Uh, an air mattress like this where it was just a couple of dollars, well, it was more than a couple of dollars. But uh, if, if you were able to find it, let's say, on sale and it was really cheap, I'm going to find you a link. I'll see what, how much this stuff costs. Uh, you may not want to go through the trouble of do it, doing this. You may just want to dispose of it and get yourself another one. Now, I'm not one that likes to dispose of things. I'd like to repair it. And that's what we did here. So that's just me. Uh, but that's why we do these things is so that uh, you can experience these kinds of things through us so you know what to do in case you want to do salvage something like this. Flex tape, yes, it'll work on the fuzzy stuff. Um, I recommend putting a patch on the inside as well as the outside and you're going to be absolutely fine. All right. Thank you. That's all we have for you today. Don't forget, share this video because if there are other folks out there that have similar situations to this, they may value from this as well. And uh, you can contribute to helping them by just uh, sharing this. That's all we got. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. We'll see you next time, all right?
trying to scrape off that fuzzy stuff, I better start this over.